unmuted. Uh, hello. Good afternoon to all. This is Balaji here. I work as assistant director with the Ministry of MSME. I'm currently working in Bangalore office, MSME DI Bangalore. And uh, I think uh, there was a brief, brief just about me. Let me carry on with uh, my presentation. I'll be disseminating <coughs> MSME schemes and policies here. That's my agenda coming here in NEN. Let me start with my first slide. Well, uh, how many of you know that there is a definition for MSME, micro, small, and medium enterprises? Here is the definition. We treat or we define the plant and machinery value is less than 25 lakhs. It comes under micro for a manufacturing enterprises. YC Vestra for service sector, it is 10 lakhs. For small, 25 lakhs to 5 crore, and medium, 5 crore to 10 crore. For uh, service sector, it is 10 lakhs to 2 crore and 2 crore to 5 crore. Well, <clears throat> what are the schemes available now? One, credit guarantee for micro, small, and medium enterprises. Most of the people who have an idea, plus who wants to do some projects to become a successful entrepreneur, they knock the doors of different banks. First thing they ask is collateral. <clears throat> That's the basic thing that bank needs a collateral or a third party agreement. So we found that most of the startups fails in this case and they start working, they go for a job, earn some money and they fail to become a startup. So hence uh, we felt that there should be a scheme on this. A credit guarantee which, is, which helps you by helping as a collateral free loan up to one crore. The guarantee cover that we provide is defined in the presentation. You could see that 75% of the credit facility is up to 50 lakhs and 85% for loan up to 5 lakhs provided to micro enterprises. And there's a, a uniform guarantee 50% of the entire amount if the credit exposure is above 50 lakhs and up to 100 lakhs. This guarantee cover comes around five years and there'll be a notional fee which has to be paid to the government for doing this. Right, implementation. How does it get implemented? MSME helps only in supervising the scheme. All, it depends upon the bank. Bank feels, yes, this project is viable. They are eligible to get this credit guarantee scheme. What bank does, they have their username and a password and uh, they can uh, up upload your project over there to DC office it goes. That is DC office is my Delhi headquarters. Development Commission of Micro, Small and Medium Enterprises. It goes to the DC office and comes back to me uh, or come back to the branch and we come and uh, visit. And if we see that there is a viable proposal, we sanction it. Uh, we sanction it. And probable time is around, it depends upon the project again. Maybe it takes 15 days, maybe it takes six months, it may take one year. It depends upon the project and the banker. If banker feels that yes, the project is viable, and uh, time mostly within six months, it get credited, right? And the next scheme is credit link capital subsidy scheme. This scheme is basically referred to a existing entrepreneur. If existing entrepreneur wants to upgrade his technology. So we have a list of upgraded technologies listed in the CLCS scheme. And uh, for this, again, we help by credit linked capital subsidy, which means that if you buy a loan, maximum up to 100 lakhs for buying the technology we try to give you a 15 percent capital subsidy which means that for one crore we give 15 lakhs as a capital subsidy and it will be deposited in your loan amount well uh, next scheme is also for an existing entrepreneur uh, say for existing entrepreneur or a startup who wants to get an iso how first a micro and small enterprises will not have enough money to get an iso hiring a consultant implementing stuff and get an iso for the specific purpose we help in giving reimbursement of this money you go for an iso please take the bills show it to us submit the application we'll pay you the 75 percent of the reimbursement on that it it includes also 18,000, 22,000 as a certification etc next for also this is also for an existing entrepreneur or a startup a three four year startup 
who wants to you know uh, project his uh, products or services on the international platform we try to help them by giving uh, airfare subsidy and uh, you know space where he wants to set up they were three by three square meters on an exhibition stall and uh, for the specific purpose we also enlist some of the exhibitions as you see in the presentation there are a couple of you know some 13 exhibitions i have listed already furthermore it is it has been enlisted in the website of uh, dcmsme.gov.in what we do is that we give them 75 percent of the airfare on economy class as a reimbursement and 50% space rental, maximum up to 1.25 lakhs per unit. And one person can only participate in the exhibition. For an SEST women, it is 100% claimable. Uh, this is also again a reimbursement model for the barcode. You know, barcode is most important to keep uh, keep uh, to keep it in the product so that it can be disseminated everywhere. Say for example, Reliance, we can keep our product if you have a barcode big bazaars and other outlets so what we do is exactly is a reimbursement point here we provide 75 percent one-time registration fee plus the annual recurring fee for the first next first three years and there are many successful stories on this probably you can see my see in the website of my okay uh, this is a, a cluster development program a cluster development program says that group of uh, startups uh, three to four years or two years or uh, companies coming together having a homogeneous production facing a common SWOT, which means that there is they'll be having a common problem say for example let's take uh, packaging of uh, food say there is a place in pinia some 15 to 25 entrepreneurs who are producing some food or pickles or jams and jelly they have a common problem that their packaging is very bad maybe the quality of quality of production is very bad for example in this case what we can do is that the 15 to 20 15 to 20 companies can come together and form an spv fifteen to 20 companies can form in a special purpose vehicle say for example uh, let's say uh, karnataka Food processing PVT limited under this PVT limited 15 units are registered together or 20 units are registered together they, can, they are available to take the scheme by implementing start with diagnosing the entire place which we give to 2.5 lakhs as a subsidy to do that study once the study is done there will be some of the action plans or say for example we have to disseminate packaging uh, importance one of the program like that we'll have we'll be having some 10 15 programs enlisted say these are the problems and these are the solutions for that or it is an awareness program or bringing a consultant and setting it to your unit making some implementation on that getting some output on that further for the outcome for that they pay you 25 lakhs from the government side and 90% uh, for the special category such as you know in northern northeast and women's who are uh, on that SPV is more than 50% the villages and SEST units and micro. Uh, next, uh, once this uh, soft interventions are over, like in disseminations and creating awareness about importance and stuff about the cluster or packaging, anything, example which I gave. Yes, we need some packaging unit, but all small units cannot offer. A single unit cannot offer a perfect packaging unit or the single unit cannot offer a quality wise high class production unit so this is where uh, msme plays a role uh, giving a maximum up to you know 15 crore so set up a common facility center for existing units who are coming together and use this facility and uh, moreover you know that 90 percent for the special categories and uh, furthermore to develop the infrastructures we try to give 10 more 10 more crores for the infrastructure development and this scheme is totally with pooling of units a single person cannot claim this program at least a minimum of 15 to 25 units have to come together and form a special purpose vehicle once the special purpose vehicle is formed we can leverage these kinds of benefit Okay, next.
next is national manufacturing competitiveness program uh, this scheme was developed by understanding the demands and threats faced by startups and the existing entrepreneurs one of the startups support is incubator scheme we can see in my screen some eight institutes have been uh, enlisted it is a public private partnership model what exactly we do is we tie up with institutions to give the facility for the startup to build a sample prototype for building the sample prototype we give maximum up to 62.5 lakhs for 10 new ideas with the reference with, with the period of one year and it's a tripartite agreement will be made between the institution the innovator or the startup and with the government and uh, 6.25 lakhs is the maximum for one unit or a one candidate or one entrepreneur and if his project costing is 10 lakhs he has to put the rest for example so he has to come out with a sample prototype and further from the sample prototype we link him to various uh, venture capitals banks and other stuff for his commercialization that's how it works for the incubator scheme next it is for the existing entrepreneurs who wants to implement lean in their organization see micro and small enterprises again they won't uh, they cannot hire a consultant at 3 lakhs or 4 lakhs rupees to hire an lm uh, for uh, implementing lm techniques but some various lm techniques are there which can make you very productive you know so these are the some 6 to 7 which has been understood in the screen see here again an individual cannot take part here at least four five companies come together or six companies come together to take this support say for example the consultant comes in and says yes i have monitored the four to six units yes these are the project cost yes if i want to implement say for example it is happening 40 lakhs uh, and here 10 lakhs has mentioned please delete that 10 lakh uh, it is not it's not a right figure so don't take it on the line link uh, yes continuing that it depends upon the project cost say the consultant says that yes i have seen your unit now these are the things has to be changed these are the things then your outcome is improved so what four to six units can come together and form a special purpose vehicle and get benefited out of that 80% can be reimbursed to you only 20% you are going to spend on that out of that 40 lakhs so that's how a small unit or a micro unit can become more competitive and you know more productive in case of producing a good quality product intellectual property rights it is for especially for the startups and innovators who are having a new ideas and just see my screen on the uh, assistance of the grants on patent and gi registration for a domestic patent we also give approximately uh, 25000 per idea once the, once it is getting patented we'll reimburse that money for foreign patent we reimburse up to 2 lakhs for gi registration is a set of the people who feels, for example, you see, you know, Kanchipuram is famous for silk saris. Pochampali is famous for silk saris in Andhra. Likewise, Tirpur is famous for t-shirts. So they can get uh, GI registration. Up to one lakh, we will facilitate them by reimbursing the cost. Moreover, there are awareness programs and pilot studies. It's a group of people who can come together and select it. You know, you can see in my screen, for awareness and sensitization program, we provide one lakh and pilot studies, we give 2.5 lakhs and interactive seminars and workshop again we give two lakhs and you want to take a course on patenting a short term or a long term course these are the fundings we make with the institutes again if you see it's a public private partnership you can see in the third slide ppp in the bracket a public private partnership however regarding the domestic patent and foreign patent it's an individual thing so which can be reimbursed and we have some facilitation centers say if i see facilitation center cia has its own facilitation center for ip if you if you knock the door of CI, they will try to help you in processing your patenting products or a service, whatever it is, copyrights, trademarks, and moreover, I would add one point on this. Even uh, state government of India, uh, state government of Karnataka, actually helping for prayer art search also. They give money on reimbursement basis for prayer art search from the starting. However, I give it after patenting. Whereas state government of Karnataka starts from prayer art search. You should you also see Karnataka's industry policy for further. QMS and QTT. This is quality management standard and QTT is quality technology tools. Again, you know, it is all you know coming together. The four to five units have to come together and utilize all these functions. I just talked about lean, lean management. 
again that's one of the quality management standard or you know same thing there are many quality management standards are there and quality technology tools are there to utilize these kinds of uh, program for a micro and small enterprises they need a heavy money whereas government supports for taking a study itself they support 50 50 percent you can give 50 and we can share 50 and to take to a you know seeing a better standard go and see different places you know meeting some interesting units who has a better quality management standards we do help in this way also providing 75 percent on our side and 25 percent from your side same wise procurement product development and properizing that product so various uh, steps included till you know you can see from here also right from the study till the commercialization we support that product these can be utilized with a group of people not a single person ICT information and communication technology again it's a no PPP mode however I'll give you a small example micro small enterprises do not have their server most of the people they store it in the CPU more data they don't know how to store it if they see yes we need a server or they can go for the cloud we can try to facilitate with Atel or Arcel whatever the people hiring are having a cloud server we can have a facilitation with that group of people with Airtel and we can subsidize the rate a rate for an early rental that's one of the scheme which we try to help and there is a 25 percent subsidy on purchasing of hardware and software for micro and small enterprises and also we facilitate in creating a web portal for micro and small enterprises it it includes startups also technology and quality upgradation support that is we call it a stack up and uh, what we do is again you know uh, it is under a public private partnership so we have to form a special purpose cycle at least a mini cluster four to five people come together and uh, try to leverage the energy efficient technologies and we try to help here also from the study till the commercialization we try to help the rest of the day in the screen you can go and see uh, see what we do is basically is in this case my entire schemes talk about four to five people or six units come together and leverage the schemes and uh, for startups I have already given uh, regarding incubator scheme cgtm sme uh, and um, furthermore uh, uh, patenting next is the design clinic support say for example i was talking about packaging uh, we don't know what kind of packaging we should make however a design consultant can help us out what is the design consultant cost is very high so probably here five to six units can come together and come out with these kinds of studies and leverage again a, a good design from him and it will be competitive in the future so most of my most of my schemes talks about on uh, improving competitiveness of the existing entrepreneur and uh, some of the schemes which talks about helping the startups and uh, i have not touched more on uh, service sectors but however some of the schemes which will be you know like uh, cgtm sme clcs and uh, furthermore ip furthermore technology upgradation these things will come under also under service organization which they can leverage and uh, i think i'm done with the presentation if you have some questions i can take take it forward thank you thank you mr baraji uh uh, we can uh, now have the questions and uh, we have a question from uh, Sananda Kumar and uh, Sananda writes what is the probability of getting loan under uh, CGT MSE for the startup of four months or less four months. please provide statistics how many percentage funds under the scheme Karnataka uh, great okay uh, uh, is the person listening to me right now I believe yeah okay see uh, there are many successful stories under uh, CGT MSC uh, see uh, the case you know it depends upon project to project see how best you present your project what is your ROA and what is this physical and financial feasibility see all the low uh, see i don't I, I already mentioned see the person who gets the loan within 15 days 
within 30 days six months one year probably i couldn't answer that question regarding karnataka how many people have got cgt msme currently i don't have the statistics maybe i can get back to you on the email uh bala msme at gmail.com is my email id why can't you shoot that question to me maybe in one or one or a couple of days i can respond it back to you uh, any other questions waiting for uh, some more uh, uh, delegates to men- participants to mention the questions yeah there's another question from cyril crasto uh, cyril writes are these schemes same in all states for example maharashtra uh, or or uh, office location in pune mumbai better schemes is for all over india you can visit dc msme dot gov dot in i repeat it again msme dc msme dc development commissioner dc msme dot gov dot in this schemes for all over india it's not specifically for the state of karnataka every state has their own uh, policies which will value add on the schemes please do visit industry and commerce of each of every state and dc msme's website to you know get more effective uh, outputs Yeah, we have another question from Vijay Talreja. Uh, Vijay writes, which of these schemes are most sought and beneficial with IT startups? Can you share some statistics on how much has actually been disbursed through these schemes? Okay, uh, see, uh, a nice question actually. Uh, see, uh, in case of ICT schemes have uh, actually disseminated. See, uh, in specific IT startups, it's very difficult to say the statistics when micro and small enterprise on the manufacturing side who wants to develop the web portal who wants to develop you know want to have some kind of a hardware purchased or a software purchased we have helped many of the peoples on that again, again i'll repeat the same thing uh, answering the number of uh, statistics in terms of 50 or 100 or 200 or 300 you have to visit my website uh, currently i'm not carrying the statistics probably you can email me and i can help out the question which he asked is uh, which of these schemes are the most seeked and beneficial for the IT startups okay answering to that uh, we have uh, credit uh, CGT MSC you no know, collateral free loan up to 1 crore has been mostly benefited and ISO and uh, patenting plus we give reimbursement on uh, barcodes these are the most of the schemes you know uh, get uh, you've been demanded by the public and the IT startups also but however in case of it startups i would see you know it is at least a startup by 3 years time these people have got benefited right for the startup initially only the cgt msme can help them out by giving loan for their viably commercially viable commercially viable projects okay now there is another question from prana jay are these schemes provided unconditionally would other benefits received prior or being sought affect these schemes are these schemes provided unconditionally what does he means unconditionally when he says unconditionally he he would mean something okay uh, how or assume... i guess he would uh, he, he might be looking at uh, you know whether these are extended collateral free that's what uh, my understanding is but uh, now can uh, no uh, there is no unconditionally there will always be in a condition see for in the in the in the, in the case of uh, uh, cgt msc credit guarantee for micro small and medium enterprises uh, what basic condition is that a banker has to agree for the project yes he has to say it is viable in case of other schemes only uh, i was talking about existing entrepreneurs on the most of the schemes they have to have entrepreneur memorandum part 2 which has been given by the state government especially each and every district they have district industrial center who has an authority to give you entrepreneur memorandum part 2 which says that yes i am the permanent registered i am permanently registered with msme and if it is done he is eligible to get msme benefits and uh, unconditionally would other benefits received prior or being sorted at these schemes okay i think i have uh, answered uh, most of his uh, questions i believe 
or else you can type it again so that I can sort it out. Yeah, building on the question uh, with regards to IT, mm -hmm. uh, Cyril Crasto wants uh, has added, uh, what are the popular schemes for IT services companies offering ERP consulting services to Indian global clients? Uh, okay, uh, adding uh, adding adding the question, right? Okay, uh, Cyril, uh, this is the answer for you. Uh, see, uh, most of the schemes for the IT, uh, we are just concentrating more now. And uh, ERP consulting services, I think it is on included with my ICT scheme. If somebody wants ERP consulting, it's a micro or a small enterprises, they can avail this service and get the subsidies from us. Is again a, a software, I believe. ERP is a software. Right, so this includes in my software uh, and hardware scheme. So it is eligible that ERP consulting can be done. And see here, at least five to six units has to take in together. So that is where you will also win by giving a low cost to him and he will also see that they have five to six clients. It's a win-win situation for everybody. I hope I have answered his question. Maybe next, any other questions I have? Say for example, we'll probably take uh, yeah, yeah. Pranav has uh, sort of uh, you know, uh, clarified on what he actually wanted to say. For example, in the renewable energy sector, benefits received from the energy department may cover the same schemes covered by you. Hence, can both benefits be utilized for same purpose? Okay. Uh, yes, uh, Pranav. Uh, see, uh, we cannot duplicate the benefit. Say, for example, you are asked. In the renewable energy sector, the benefit received from the energy department may cover the same schemes being covered by you. Yes, you cannot duplicate the schemes. We'll have, we'll always ask you before getting you know any schemes to be leveraged by you. We'll always ask a declaration, and there is no no duplication of the scheme. I, we won't encourage uh, double benefits. I hope uh, Pranav has uh, got his answer. Any other questions to take up? We'll probably take another question if it is there. Yeah, please go ahead. See, uh, any, 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 how to start, you know, I, I am open with uh, questions for how to start a business, where to, where, what, when to knock the door, which door to knock. You know, people fail in which door to knock. If you have any questions on that, I can take it up. What type of documentation need for startup for a web-related company? It's a question by Sudipta Patra. Uh, Sudip, I think it's a e-portal you're talking about. See, uh, every you know every product, every service have their own regulation. I'll tell you the basic first of all. First, what you have to do is you have to register your company or a proprietorship or a partnership company first. Second, you have to get a service tax or a VAT. Third, you have to register uh, EM part one, entrepreneur memorandum part one, it's a temporary registration for micro, small and medium enterprises. Fourth, if you want to have a low, if you want to see that, yes, I need a loan, you have to prepare a detailed project report. Once the detailed project report has been approved by the bank, furthermore, you should have various uh, certificates, such as in case of yours, you say, I want to uh, release a web portal, right? So web, uh, I think we have a regulation under IT where you have to go and take, take a certificate from the IT department, information technology department. Yes, the web portal is accessible by everyone and it is not it is not harmful for everybody. Something like kind of a certificate is there. For example, if you take pharma, you should have a Food and Drug Control Authority of uh, India will certify, yes, the product is commercial. Then if you see food products, you could see there is an, a certificate called FD, uh, FSSA, Food and Safety, uh, Safety Act. So each and every product has its own uh, conditional certificate. Probably uh, all the service organization or a manufacturing organization have a same same pattern for a startup while uh, preparing various formalities like VAT documentation, service tax documentation, company registration. These are the basics. However, product and service has their own conditional uh, uh, documents has to be produced for commercialization. Yes, uh, I think probably I could uh, make your answer. I have made, made my answer for this.
Any other questions to take up? Yeah. There's another from Pranav. Getting a team together is tough sometimes. How can I take your assistance in helping increase my chance of meeting like-minded people? Are there any events you might hold on non-IT related startup ideas? Uh, see, not MSME do that. MSME facilitate in doing that. We can help you where it is happening and you can join that. Say, for example, Enian, Enian himself does the program. CIA does, FIKI does, association, many association does. There are not many web development programs we organize. We can invite you on that platform. And uh, to find like-minded people, you have to grow your network. You have to see where are the places, what is happening. That's what I could help you out in this. However, uh, to make more clear where what is happening, you have to get in touch with uh, associations, you know, uh, startup facilitators like MSME, uh, NEN, FIKI, CII, and moreover, I should say, uh, Angel Investors Network, Venture Capital Funding Networks. I think LinkedIn should help you a lot. Unless you don't explore yourself, you, you will not get explored. Yeah. <clears throat> and also to value add, there are many uh, uh, startup mentors. There are mentoring networks available with IAM Ahmedabad. Uh, there is a uh, there is a there is a place yes uh, center for innovation and incubation enterprises CIIE it is uh, run by Kunal Upadhyaya you can uh, visit his website you can find more interesting thoughts on that any more questions I guess. Uh... Uh, okay, uh, then I guess uh, uh, yeah, there is a question from Sai at Crasto. Yes, yeah. yes. Is the yes. ISO certification charge the reimbursement only, or the IT startup apply for fresh certification? Okay, uh, see, uh, I mentioned only about the ISO certification and a bill and an application. Application can be downloaded from my website. Either it is a manufacturing company or a startup company, I'm not bothered about it. We help everybody here. You have an ISO certification and it has been, uh, a bill has been produced with an application, we are going to reimburse it as per my conditions, which is stated in my web, uh, presentation. I think uh, yeah. that would bring us to the end of this webinar. And uh, I'm sure uh, the participants would have benefited immensely from the knowledge shared. Uh, I would like to thank all the participants for having joined this online session. And I would like also uh, mention that we'll continue with this series and uh, there, there are uh, there's a huge community of entrepreneurs who look forward to such sessions and uh, CIA uh, is always eager to facilitate and help and support them. I'd also like to take this opportunity to thank uh, Mr. Balaji uh, for having joined us for this very important session. With this, we come, uh, we bring this session to a close. Thank you very much. Thank you, everybody.